I'd like to apologize in advance for the potentially triggering content of this video, but unfortunately this is something that is so sincerely important that it needs to be shared and publicized. Recently, Donald Trump put out a video that really encapsulates the MO of the conservative party. In this video, he makes a lot of claims about trans people and their intentions that is especially disturbing to me. He pushes this false narrative that trans people intend to go for children and to market HRT and transitioning to children to get rich. He also states that he advocates for the revocation of all gender affirming programs at any age, even those that are even those that are adults. I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. Which is indicative that his entire message isn't about protecting children, it's about ostracism and inhibiting liberty. Like it or not, the fact is that trans people do have the right to be themselves. If you care about rights, then you must defend that trans people have the right to be trans. He also states that the Department of Education would persecute those and severely punish those that educate children about the existence of trans people. Trans people have existed all throughout history and are a significant portion of our zeitgeist, which I think completely justifies them being taught about in a classroom setting. There's nothing inherently sexual about the existence of a trans person, and the conflation of the two is a fascist effort to try and make it easier to persecute them. And then there's even more rhetoric, like talk of trans IDs for trans people, so that they will need to get some sort of badge or something to uh, sufficiently identify that they are trans. There's the trans panic defense that's in over half the country where if someone kills a trans person, they can say that it was because they were so shocked they were thrown into a fit of temporary insanity to justify that. And then on top of all the legal stuff, there's the overbearing social stigma that unfortunately exists because of people like Donald Trump. The claim that children are being targeted by trans people to be trans in themselves is exaggerated and misleading. There are trans children, yes. And every major health organization says that this is justified because they have gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is a mental condition where you feel that your body does not align to who you are. What happens to people with gender dysphoria who aren't able to transition into the body they like is that they kill themselves. There's a lot of child suicide that happens because they are unable to transition because People think that perverts are just trying to get to children and trying to sexualize them. When again, there's nothing inherently sexual about a trans person to begin with. I understand that there may be difficulty deciding on if children can consent to these sorts of procedures. I'm not 100% knowledgeable on it, unfortunately. But I think even if you think children can't transition, which I think they can because they kill themselves if they don't, Adults should definitely be allowed that right. It is absolutely unjustifiable to argue otherwise. Trump claims in this video that Big Pharma intends on getting rich by marketing HRT to children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. Which I find completely ridiculous and hypocritical. Trump, on the other hand, gets rich marketing a utopia to vulnerable people that is being inhibited by these perverts and pedophiles that are trying to come after your children. We gotta get them out the way. To anyone listening that thinks that trans people should just simply not exist or that they don't like them or that there's something to be worried about about them, is that you are being fed this sort of narrative by people who do want to get rich off of your outrage at their expense. It is completely misleading and fabricated propaganda. What I would encourage for you is instead of listening to what Fox News or CNN or Facebook has to say about trans people, I would really encourage you to just talk to some. There's a lot more out there than you would think. And I think you'll find the overwhelming majority of them are just normal people who want to exist without persecution. 
like every other person. If you deprive yourself of certain demographics to interact with, you're going to miss out on a lot of cool, interesting people. Furthermore, I would like to emphasize that it's not going to stop with trans people. It hasn't stopped with trans people. The Supreme Court is talking about overturning the Supreme Court case to legalize gay marriage. They're talking about sodomy laws being overturned, which up until 2012 were still in place in some states. And then they're going to move on to people that aren't the same color as them, aren't the same religion as them. And it'll be, if you're not one specific race, one specific religion, with one specific set of dogma to abide by, then you're in the way of progress and you need to be severely punished. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination. We've seen this before. This has happened. And the fact is, it will not get any better if you guys do not get political. Oh, but I hate politics. Oh, it just divides people. I understand that perspective, that there is a certain level of comfort to be found in ignorance. However, it is at the expense of literally everyone else that you know. It is an incredibly privileged take to say that politics isn't something you're interested in and that it doesn't affect you. And while you might not think it does, it's just a patently naive mindset to have. There's never been a time before where being political is more important. Getting out there and voting has never been more important than it is right now. So I'm going to leave this video with a single ultimatum is that if you live in the United States, get out there and vote for the candidates that intend to protect your own liberty and your own freedom. And get used to doing that, or get used to no longer having your freedom. That's all I have to say. I hope that these next videos aren't going to be as depressing as this is, but sincerely, it's just so imperative that my message is taken seriously and that this is shared around. Please, get out there and get involved. <laughs>